let's talk about one of the very interesting concepts and that is research writing a lot of students when they migrate from their bachelor's and the master's to work for research papers and research writing face a lot of difficulty in understanding how do they differ a research writing from the actual answer writing that they have been so far doing so it's a difference of understanding a theoretical concept and applying it on the ground and there is where we need to focus on so our theme for today would be understanding how to identify whether this is a answer writing question or a research problem and whether it is a right research problem to move forward for so when we focus on research questions our questions should be much more uh, specific they should be highly focused the scope should be well defined and they should be very very relevant to the recent society and the developments associated to those now focusing on answer writing is very very simple when we say answer writing we usually talk about a simple precise simple way of writing where we understand that you are not producing something original it is given in most of the textbooks or the study materials that you are going through and you are only trying to jot those down but in the case of research writing this is not the scenario and usually answer writing has a very very uh, broad spectrum or a broad scope that is being witnessed so what happens with uh, the answer writing as we move forward so moving forward with understanding the answer writing is interesting it's generally applicable to a smaller segment of the population now there are certain case examples that we would understand we would take one example from science another from social science and one from engineering to understand the process of life changing understanding at a very initial go so what we are trying to take here are three different examples as i said the first example is from the field of science so from the field of science we can say a an answer writing question would be describe the structure of covid virus so it's a kind of simple answer writing question it's not related to a research we would understand in a while how research questions are formulated and they are much more reproducible much more feasible and much more applicable a question from a social science for answer writing would be how do you suggest the ways uh, to improve the healthcare infrastructure of any country in light of the covid pandemic that is there now this is what this is a simple answer writing question the next is a question from the background of engineering i could lay out a simple question saying what is the difference between a ambu bag versus a ventilator and that would be a simple answer writing question for engineering now we have all these three questions in mind before we proceed to the ne next segment that is uh, research writing we have clearly understood what is actually the meaning of answer writing at one point of time when it comes to research writing it is very very specific you have a well defined scope the ideas are original they are relevant to the society they are much more applicable and an impact of that has to be seen for the generations so a focused work is something which is a prerequisite for a research writing now research writing could be in various ways there could be a descriptive research where i could say simply uh, focusing on the characteristics of certain parameters there could be a comparative research where i am comparing let's say two viruses there could be a correlational research where i am trying to find out the relationship or impact of one on another there could be a exploratory research where i am trying to find out the major factors which affect certain thing and the role that it plays in curbing certain scenarios or there could be a kind of effective action plan that could be laid down so there could be various kinds of research that could lay forward but when we focus on the research writing we usually talk about understanding the impact so coming back to the same examples that we had discussed before with the case of answer writing now with the same examples we would understand how these could be converted into research question so let's take the question from the science where we said in answer writing it was simply understanding the structure of covid virus 
If I'm trying to do a research, might be I can pick up a topic where I'm trying to investigate the role of COVID proteins in P W in mitosis. So in that case, it's a kind of research problem and a research question that I'm moving forward with. Similarly, from the fields of social sciences, we took out a problem such as the ways to improve the healthcare uh, setup of any country in light of COVID-19 pandemic. When it comes to a research problem, I can say the idea is the research question here is to investigate the role of economic disparities and COVID-19 outcome in the various ethnic minorities across the globe. Again, if I'm not able to do the studies across globe at a huge scale, at a mega scale, I can narrow down my uh, study and I can say I can do the st uh, study of economic disparities in COVID-19 outcome in the various tribes of India. If I'm not able to do all the tribes of India or I cannot do the studies across the tribe of India, I can further squeeze down my area of study and I can say in the tribes of a given state or certain few tribes. So it depends, you have to clearly define your scope. So the scope as we said should be very well defined when you are trying to write a research paper. It should not be open ended that you are suggesting ways how to uh, improve the healthcare system or how to check the development in that case. The next was a question from engineering where we said we were trying to understand the difference between embu bag versus a ventilator and that was a simple answer writing question but when it comes to a research question we can say how can we develop a new ventilator system usually using locally sourced motors and sensors so in that case this would be an engineering problem that would be revealed so the idea here is to understand that when you are framing a research question it should be precise Whatever scope you are trying to give, you can have a global scope as we said in the case of ethnicities across the globe or we could say the tribes of India or tribes of state. You have to well define your scope. You can keep the scope at your convenience, the area of research at your convenience, but whatever area of research you are covering, you have to well define and cover that carefully. Also. The research should be feasible, it should be reproducible. That means if I am doing a similar study with similar parameters in region A, it could be well replicated to region B with uh, changes. The study should be able to be completed in a given time frame. Uh, and the practical constraints that are there. You cannot just quote a research problem with n number of relations and n number of uh, suggestions or changes or parameters that could be there which are not practically applicable or could be practically considered. So practical constraints are very very important and as we said it should be reproducible, it should be feasible and it should be well guided, focused with a well defined scope and it should be highly relevant for the cause of the society and it should have a larger impact for greater good. So those are some of the key concepts that you must keep in mind that helps you clarify that research writing is very very different from the mere answer writing that you have been doing through your school and the college days. So you need to have a totally open mindset and if you are devoting let's say three to four years of your uh, study on research you have to devote at least six months to one year on the literature review or the prior work done in the same field and this prior work done in the same field would be a way that would help you understand how to proceed further and give you a, a guidance or a right path to follow. So we would be coming up with many more interesting ways to help you write good research papers. A lot of students have been uh, confused and worried about understanding and writing a good research paper. So we are always there for you. If you need any recommendations, any help, any suggestions, feel free to post in the comment box below and we'll be happy to provide responses to those. Have a wonderful day ahead.